Hello guys, this is ShoemixMD and today I'm gonna talk about Horizon HD video camera. I was one of the lucky winners of Foxtech giveaway and I thought it will be nice uh, to make a review and share my experience with the camera. First of all, let's talk about what's in the box. This is the box itself with main specs on it and a connection diagram on the back. Next you get the main module, the LCD screen, camera sensor, a cable that will connect the camera to your RC receiver and uh, video transmitter a manual in Chinese and English a warning to the UHF receiver users that means uh, the camera has some interference on the UHF band and a USB cable. Now let's check every part in detail. Here is the main module. It has four buttons for menu navigation, one LED for indication. Here is the microphone hole. Uh, on the left is the port for the camera sensor. On the right is for the cable to RC receiver. The connection to the LCD screen and here is the USB card slot and uh, HDMI out. These uh, connectors or ports are covered by uh, rubber and uh, actually this uh, rubber is so soft that um, it is too hard to, to make it close uh, the ports perfectly uh, that means the dust will be collected uh, very fast in the connectors also inside the camera through these holes speaking about the camera dimensions it is slightly larger than a GoPro as you can see but not much about 5 Oh, about one centimeter uh, of course it is uh, much slimmer but keep in mind the GoPro has already the battery inside while Horizon HD doesn't have and if speaking about the weight of the camera then you can see the main board alone weight 45 grams adding the sensor 95 grams and you need also the cable 111 grams and if you remember the GoPro has only 101 gram the next one will be the LCD screen has three buttons on off and volume up and down and here is the speaker here is the camera module with a transparent cap actually I like the transparent cap because uh, I missed some cool shots on uh, my Mobius because uh, I forgot to, to take uh, out the cap and uh, with this one uh, you still get some uh, some shot of course distorted but it is there on the back you have a hole for the tripod mounting and uh, also these years on the sides uh, for a pan and tilt mechanism uh, the camera has a uh, 80 centimeters extension and uh, they actually use this uh, iPhone lightning connector 
which is pretty cool because you can plug it uh, each way uh, or both ways never mind which way you you will plug in it will work another cool feature about uh, the camera sensor is that they claim it uh, to be waterproof so um, we have 80 centimeters uh, extension you just can mount uh, it on a pole and uh, put it uh, in the water next is the cable with four connectors one for the power and video out another for the audio out and uh, two for um, triggering uh, video recording and uh, photo well let's connect the camera and uh, go through the menu what i have learned from the start is that the camera will not turn on every time if you turn on the camera it turns on then if you switch off and turn on again it will not turn on because Foxtech said the camera has a protection that will not allow the camera to turn on again if 10 seconds didn't pass from uh, last switching off. I don't know why they need such a protection but I should wait now 10 seconds so I can turn it on again. Okay. Um, the menu navigation actually is uh, quite uh, easy. If you have a car DVR, you will find that it is uh, very similar. Uh, these two buttons I used for uh, up and down. This is select and this is back or uh, menu Let's check the video out lag. Like. 